What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are actually doing a Chili's mukbang which I am super excited about because it has been years since I've had Chili's. I think the last time I had it was, gosh I don't even remember, definitely back in college but Chili's was my favorite spot ever in high school. I absolutely loved going there with my family. If I went on dates I would always say let's go to Chili's. So let me tell you guys what I got and then we'll get the table out and get all set up. So for my appetizer I got the fried mozzarella and I've actually never had their fried mozzarella so I was really curious to try that and then I also got the Cajun chicken pasta which was my personal favorite dish at Chili's. That's what I always got and I was definitely craving it today so how to get that. We also got chips and salsa because I love their chips and salsa. So good. We'll see if they compare to how they used to be. We got some garlic toast to go with the pasta and then I also got a Coke Zero because I was just really feeling some diet soda today. <laughs> so yeah let me get the table out and then I will show you guys this yummy delicious food. Just reading it off and selling the food my mouth is watering. Okay, here's our big bag of Chili's food. So let's go ahead and pop everything out. We got our ginormous bag of chips. Look how many chips they gave. Wow, they always give so many chips in the restaurant when they do chips and salsa. I think it's bottomless whenever you order it in the restaurant. And then we got our salsa. I love their salsa. So good. Oh wait, that may be, oh no, okay. So here's the fried mozzarella. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. This was exactly what I was craving and when I saw that they had fried mozzarella, I had to get it. Those things are pretty big too, so that looks amazing. We also got the marinara sauce to go with the fried mozzarella, so that would be good. And then the most exciting part, we have our Cajun chicken pasta. Who else loves this dish at Chili's? I just feel like this was my go-to. This is my sister's go-to. A lot of friends that I knew love the Cajun chicken pasta at Chili's, so oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells so freaking good. I'm sorry, what? That looks amazing. It looks just as good as I remember it. Wow. We got a straw for our Coke Zero. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is delicious. Then our cutlery. So that is everything. Let me get a thumbnail really quick and we will dive in to this food. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. All right, you guys, we are all set up. Hopefully you guys can see everything. I just have my chips in my lap here because they wouldn't really fit on the table. But I tried the fried mozzarella for my thumbnail because I was trying to get a cheese pull. This is incredible. If you guys go to Chili's, y'all have to get the fried mozzarella. Like, look at that. This is so good. Like, oh my gosh, this is 10, 10 delicious. Do you see that cheese in there? The cheese pool goes crazy. <laughs> Oh my gosh and their mozzarella mozzarella is so good mm. wow okay so yeah that is a must get appetizer. They do have a lot of different appetizer options, but I'm telling y'all that fried mozzarella is the way to go. Ooh, the Diet Coke. Perfection. Why did I not do this sooner? Why did you guys not tell me to do chili sooner? Why, why did I not think to do chili sooner? Oh my goodness. I actually have two funny stories <laughs> about chilies, which 
Okay, I don't know if you guys will find it like funny, but I have two stories to share about chilies. <laughs> okay, chips and salsa. Just as good as I remember it. Mm. And the crunch of the chip. Their chips are so thin and crispy, which I love like the really thin and crispy chips. Mm. Wow. Okay, we gotta dive into this pasta. Pasta looking amazing. I'm gonna switch my pasta for my chips right here in my lap because it's probably gonna be easier to eat it like this. Yes, okay, perfect. So my first story about chilies um, goes back to high school. So this guy actually dated after Nugget. If you guys remember my story times on Nugget, yeah. Now this boyfriend was an amazing boyfriend. He was the complete opposite of Nugget. He was amazing, he was very sweet. And whenever we would go on dates, we would always go to Chili's. <laughs> Okay, pasta, just as good as I remember it too. This is what I would always order when we went to Chili's. But yeah, anytime like we went out on a nice date, I would always be like, I wanna go to Chili's. <laughs> so we would go to Chili's and he had this really nice truck. It was a big red truck. can't remember exactly what kind of truck it was but it was almost like a Ford F-150 I want to say it was a Ford F-150 but then again I kind of think it was a Chevy I'm not sure though but it was big like that it was a four-door truck really nice I would feel like an absolute queen going to Chili's with my man in his big truck <laughs> You would always get the Cajun pasta, chips and salsa to start off with. So Chili's always makes me think of that guy. <laughs> Which all my memories with him are very fond. Like I said, he was a really good guy, so very sweet we broke up honestly because things just kind of sizzled out between us which was kind of my fault i just i don't know it just got to a point where i just wasn't super interested in the relationship anymore i guess he just wasn't really right for me i was also young i was like 17 when i was with him so clearly i did not know what i wanted back then But yeah, Chili's was our go-to spot. Freaking loved it. And um, we would also go there on double dates because my best friend was actually dating his best friend. And all three of us, like me, my best friend, and then her boyfriend, we all worked at McDonald's together. So we would all go on double dates and anytime we went on double dates we would also go to Chili's. I don't know what it was but Chili's was just the go-to spot back then. You guys will have to let me know if you still go to Chili's. I, like I said, I haven't had Chili's in years, so clearly I do not go anymore. I don't know why, because this is amazing. I also really liked their bacon ranch quesadillas. I think that's what they're called. I want to 
say that's a entree you can get but sometimes I think we would get that as an appetizer instead those were really good So yeah, Chili's just brings me back to high school because I was just the thing to do in high school was go to Chili's. <laughs> then my second story is actually from college. So I actually tried to get a job at Chili's back in college and oh, that's a salsa. This is the marinara. So I did not end up getting the job, but let me tell you why. So I was dating a dude and this was actually one. So I've only had two like actual serious long relationships. Most of my relationships in high school were short, you know, just kind of like dating around, I guess. Not really dating around because I wasn't like that, but I've had two like serious relationships. The guy that I'm going to talk about and then Gabe came after that. So, the guy that I dated all throughout college is who I dated before Gabe. And at the time, I was still in Greensboro, but this guy was living in Chapel Hill. So, he was a good hour away from me. So, I could only see him on the weekends. And I drove to him every single weekend. <laughs> Which is so crazy to look back on. I cannot believe I drove to Chapel Hill, which is an hour away, every weekend. So I drove an hour there and an hour back to spend time with this guy. Now in his defense, I loved his family and we spent a lot of time with his family. So that's kind of why I drove to him every weekend. But looking back, I should not have done that. I should have had him drive to me at least some weekends because that's kind of ultimately why we broke up was I just was so burnt out of the relationship. I just felt like I had given so much and received so little back and I just was kind of over it. So Word of advice, don't do what I did. Make sure you're kind of receiving 50% back because you don't want to end up despising the guy in the relationship. You know, like that's not fun. So anyways, I could not work weekends because my weekends were pretty much being dedicated to him and our relationship. So I got the interview at Chili's. It was actually this Chili's that I got the food from today that I had an interview for. <laughs> so I went and did the interview, which it was barely an interview. He was just pretty much like, okay, when can you work? And I told him, well, I can only work Monday through Friday because, well, I didn't tell him why. I just said I can't work weekends. And so he was like, well, we need someone who can work weekends. So I don't know if this is going to work out. Because the position was for a server. It wasn't even for a waitress or anything. Um, so they needed a server for the weekends. And uh, yeah, I was like, well, I cannot work weekends. So I ended up not getting the job because of that. <laughs> I feel like nowadays, restaurants probably hire almost the same amount of staff during the week too because I feel like ever since COVID, people go out to eat pretty much every night of the week now. I still see places packed during the weekdays as well. I feel like back in the day, yeah, people really only ate out a lot on the weekends. 
at least that's when places got packed but sometimes Gabe and I will eat out throughout the week we try to go grocery shopping and cook throughout the week the most we can but some weekends we just don't go grocery shopping and then we're kind of eating out throughout the week and um places are still packed during the week too especially Wednesdays and Thursdays it's so crazy how how people eat out so much nowadays sorry I had to restart my camera but yeah that's my two like little funny stories about chilies and I don't know I can't believe it's been so long since I've had chilies I feel like when Gabe and I eat out at restaurants now it's either somewhere really <laughs> really nice because there are some restaurants in our town that are just so delicious and they're a little bit more fancier so if we're spending the money we'd rather go there because all this was $32 wait how much did I pay I left a tip so I think before the tip it was $34 which is kind of expensive so if we're spending that kind of money we go out a little bit somewhere nicer or Mexican like Mexican is our go-to I love Mexican food so if we're gonna go out to eat yeah I'm like let's go get Mexican I do think out of all the restaurants that are like this though Chili's is up there I think Chili's and Texas Roadhouse those are the best Longhorn Steakhouse also is really good. I would say that's a good one. I don't know. Most of these places, you can find anything on the menu that's going to be good. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to have a lot of leftovers. Look how much chips I still have. <laughs> That is so many chips. I'm also trying out a new lip liner and lipstick, which I brought so I could show you guys because um, I really like it and I wanted to share it with you guys. So we have the lip liner and then I think the lipstick is in my purse. I always bring this tote bag with me, but then I also have like my actual purse. Oh, can I reach it? Okay. Oh, got to be strategic in this car. Okay, and then I have my purse here, too. So, I have the lip liner, and then here's the lipstick, which you guys may recognize it. It's Ariana Grande. Her makeup brand, R.E.M., or REM. I guess you can pronounce it either way. But it looks like a little astronaut. How freaking adorable is that? I love it. I wanted to try out her brand because she recently posted a video on YouTube on her REM YouTube channel and I watched it and I don't know, just made me want to try her makeup. I love Ariana Grande. She's definitely out of all those like celebrities that category of celebrity. She was the number one that I listened to pretty much every song I've heard I'm pretty sure like all of her songs I loved her holiday albums like I was a big stan for Ariana Grande so I was like you know what let me try out her makeup brand and it's actually really good like I have it on in this video I actually put this lipstick on maybe four hours ago now so it's been on for a while and it's really held up so anyways let me tell you guys the colors so I got the lip liner in top line and this is what the lip liner looks like. I don't know why, but I always keep the packaging to my makeup. That's the lip liner, and it just looks like that. I'll do a little demo for you guys and put some on here. 
I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Okay, so that's a lip liner, which we love. And then the lipstick, which is so good. I love the formula of this lipstick. And this is in the shade Bubbly. So if you guys like the shade Bubbly, so pretty. Mm, and it feels so good on the lips. I love, oh, look at the bottle too. It's like the magnetic closure. Love that. Okay, so yeah, that is the lipstick and lip liner. It's so good. Like, it's so freaking good. I also got some products from Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez, um, which unfortunately I did not like. I got the liquid blush, and I tried to put it on, but um, I guess I just don't know how to put on liquid blush, or maybe I didn't use the right brush. I don't know what happened, but... I had my full face done of makeup except the blush so I put the blush on my cheek and then I tried to blend it in with a brush and it literally just made a like a ring on my face I don't know if that makes sense but Basically, when I put the blush on and I try to blend it out, it just created like a circle on my face. So like all the makeup like blended out into this ring and then in the middle, it was just like pale. Like it, it just didn't blend right. So it just moved all my makeup around into this circle. It looked so bad and obviously it's not the product's problem because I've seen other people put it on on YouTube and it looked so good. So I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know if I just don't have the skin type for liquid blush. I don't know what happened, you guys, but I think I'm gonna return that blush. I also got a liquid blush from Ariana Grande's line, which I'm probably not gonna like because I think I just don't do well with liquid blushes. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. And then I got a lip gloss from REM. So we'll see how that lip gloss is. You want to know what I'm really craving? An ice cream cone from McDonald's. That sounds so good. I was watching a mukbang earlier today whenever I was getting ready. And they got ice cream cones from, I think actually Burger King. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want an ice cream cone so bad, but not from Burger King, from McDonald's. Even though I love Burger King, McDonald's ice cream is just on a whole nother level. Like, like that is so good. Okay, well, this food, it was so incredible. You guys will have to let me know what your go-to at Chili's is. What do you love at Chili's? Gabe actually told me to get their, I think it's like their chicken crispers or chicken nibblers. I think they're called crispers, something like that. But I was not in the mood for like chicken tenders. So I decided not to get those, but he said they're really good. Oh gosh, I just dipped my chip in the marinara, whoops, we look very similar. So yeah, let me know what you guys think is good at Chili's and then also let me know what other restaurant I should do that's kind of similar to this. I have been saying for ages I'm going to do Waffle House, I definitely need to do Waffle House. So. 
hopefully that will come soon i also want to do denny's i think denny's would be good but yeah in terms of like these kind of sit down casual dining restaurants let me know what you guys would want to see for a car mukbang i think that's going to be it for this video i love you guys so so much please drop a thumbs up down below and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys